saying that when you have problems with the son, you go to the mother, through the mother to the son. And that's what sometimes we Catholic do, that we go to Jesus through Mary. Uh, we have a devotion, a deep devotion to Mary because of her son. And as we celebrated the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we too celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So, in what way do we uh, venerate Mary in her Immaculate Heart? It's not so much that she was uh, sinless, unlike us, that she was born without sin, conceived without sin, uh, prepared as a vessel uh, for Jesus, but it's more as we find in the reading about the story of Mary, Joseph, looking for Jesus for three days and were greatly distressed, anxious because they could not find Jesus. And uh, Mary yet treasured what happened there, things that she could understand, she could not understand, she treasured that in her heart. And that makes her heart immaculate, dwelling and delving, going into, going deeper into the mystery of Jesus, her son, and everything is about that. And that's, I think, what makes her heart immaculate. So Mary, like us, a human being, she uh, also find many uh, challenges and troubles and things that she didn't understand. And this is not the only occasion. Certainly this is uh, starting to amplify. And at this time, Jesus turned 12. And for the Jews, when you turn 12, you are reaching the age of maturity. And so in, I think Jesus exercised his freedom. He did not uh, make anything, uh, did anything wrong by staying because he is now mature, like us, maybe 18, but for the Jews, he's 12. So uh, when the, they could not find him, Jesus said, why? He didn't understand that I have to be in Father's house and Mary have to treasure that in her heart. So that's a continuation of Mary conceiving Jesus, not just in her womb, but in her heart. And I think she even conceived Jesus and the Holy Spirit in her heart first, before she conceived Jesus in the womb. And we know at the beginning when the angel of Gabriel came to Mary, right, uh, she said yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. And she conceived Jesus first in the heart and then in her womb because of her yes. So that really gives us the example of how we can grow in holiness, especially in our heart. Mary began first in her heart before she physically uh, do and carry out her uh, call as a mother of God. Whatever our call is, whatever our vocation is, right? When we conceived the Word, Jesus, the Word made flesh, but the living Word in our heart as we ponder on the words every morning. That's why I always encourage you to really reflect on the Word of God in the morning, not just sit, pray, whatever it is, but let the Word of God, how mysteri however mysterious it is, you know, be something that you eat as Mary, you know, consumed and conceived the Word in the heart. That makes her heart immaculate. That makes her heart holy. So we ask the same Holy Spirit to help us and give us the courage, the desire to really conceive the Word in our heart and help us and purify our heart to be more and more immaculate like Mary who we celebrate today.
And let me conclude our reflection with a song called Per Mariam at Jesu, uh, meaning through Mary to Jesus. Oh